NYC. She became a program manager of Tet Help Partners at the Humane Society of the United States, HSUS, and in so doing, helped keep thousands of animals in their homes and out of shelters. Major Joyce became the New York City coordinator for HSUS, working on animal-friendly legislation and cruelty cases. At present, she continues to promote local animal protection legislation as the New York Senior District Leader Volunteer for HSUS. And if you ever go to animal rights demonstrations, protests, she is always there. She is so, so committed to this work, and I admire her uh, without reservation. So please give a warm welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Joyce Friedman. Joyce! Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming and staying. Um, so we're all here today to celebrate being veg, being vegan for many reasons. Health, environment, animals' lives, it's all about our humanity and compassion, creating a more humane society. Now with the current federal administration's attacks on animals, I have found one of the best ways to work to protect animals is to focus locally. This is one of the best ways i found where we might have more control and power in our animal rights movement locally. So as Eric said, I'm a New York City, uh, I'm a, no, sorry, a New York senior district leader with the Humane Society of the United States. And until recently, I was HSUS's New York City coordinator. One of my main focuses as a New York City coordinator and which I'm continuing as a volunteer for now, with many other volunteers, is my work to get a historic and extremely exciting bill passed in New York City. What bill is this? It's called Intro 1233. I'll say it again, Intro 1233. And if passed, it will ban the cruel and inhumane use of wild animals in circuses. Has anyone heard about how cruel that is? Okay. Would we like to make it illegal in New York City to have animal circuses perform here? Yes! We can do it, okay? Now, what will it do if it's passed? Throughout the five boroughs, any circus that brings wild animals here will be unwelcome and it'll be illegal for them to come. Now, we had some great news earlier this year. What's the name of the circus that's closing? Ringling Brothers! So Ringling Brothers, because of low audience attendance and because of laws similar to this that have passed around the country, is closing shop. Their last performance in New York City was in February. And their last performance ever is in Long Island in May. Okay? So this is excellent news. This is due to all the activism, the protests, and the legislation. However, New York City is a little behind the game. New York City still allows circuses with animals to come here, and there are other circuses that come here. So it's great ringling will be not, no longer coming, but there are other animal circuses that come here. One is actually here right now, and it's going to be here for about eight weeks. They, bring, they have elephants, tigers, zebras, bears. Animals in, wild, uh, in circuses are treated horrifically. They never have a good day. They're tormented. They're forced to travel in chains and cages, in trucks and trailers around the country. And anything, any stunt or trick you see in a wild animal doing a circus is done out of fear. Haven't we reached 2017 as a time when we no longer are tormenting beautiful wild animals to perform for our entertainment? Now the problem is, is this bill will not pass if we don't all get involved and help. However, the stars are aligned for this bill to pass this year, in my opinion, and I'll tell you why. First of all, it's being championed, this bill, Intro 1233, by two very animal-friendly New York City Council members. Some of you live in the districts of these council members. One is named Rosie Mendez. She has introduced this bill and she is ready to get this passed. Another great council member, Corey Johnson, is championing this bill, and the bill is in his committee. So he's the chairman of the committee the bill is in, which is great for the bill. The problem is we only have 12 council members on the bill, and we need 26. We need 26 total council members to sign on to the bill so when a vote comes, they vote yes. 26 is a majority of the whole city council. So, 
The other reason the stars are aligned to get this bill to pass this year in 2017 is our city council speaker and our mayor support this bill. They, the mayor will sign this bill. He's told us this personally. He will sign this bill if it passes through city council. Ringling has closed, and that's another reason the stars are aligned, because Ringling is the wealthiest and largest historic opponent of this bill. They're gone. They're not going to oppose this bill. Over 130 cities and counties in the U.S. and dozens of countries have banned animal circuses, but we haven't yet. But the writing is on the wall. Over 44 U.S. cities have done it, but none as large as New York City. So how can you help? And this is why I'm here. How can you help to get this compassionate bill to pass? Three things. You can make a call to your council member, urging them to sign on to the bill. It takes three minutes to make that call. And at our table over there, at the HSUS table, we have a flyer that tells you exactly how to make that call. We also have a phone there uh, that we can look up your council member in two minutes based on your address and you can make the call right now. We've had dozens of people do that already. If you want to go over to our table after, we will have you make that call now. Secondly, we ask you to sign up for the campaign, which just means you'll get a few emails about when the hearing at City Hall is coming up, when we have phone banking that we need help with, etc. And the third thing is to get all your friends and family to make that phone call by taking some of our flyers and distributing them around. Okay? So, who feels like they want to get involved in even those three small ways to get this bill passed and ban wild animals in circuses? It's not going to pass this year, and if it doesn't pass without all of our help, it's not going to pass if we don't all join in. It'll have to start being introduced in 2018. Rosie Mendez won't be in council anymore. It'll be starting from square one. I say let's all get involved and take this amazing opportunity to do something historic. And mark my words, if we do this in New York City, other cities will follow suit, other large cities. LA's working on it, Philly's working on it. If we do it here, we'll inspire other cities and activists to do the same. So I'm gonna do something a little silly. I'm going to say a chant for one minute, but only if you promise to say the response. 